It is August 6th, 2022. My friend has invited me and four other guys to a sport called bouldering. This was very interesting to me. And as you can see from this footage, I didn't know what I was doing at all. I had my friend here, Taha, to, like instruct me what to do the entire time. But clearly I was, I was very clueless. I was very scared as well. I wasn't good with heights at all. And as you can see there, I'm, I'm literally staying there for quite a while. But yeah, it was, it was a fun first session. Later on, uh, we tried this one purple climb, which is about a V2 climb. And as you can see right here, we're all struggling. We really had no knowledge of climbing. And we, we were just doing this for fun. Like this was just, it was just a very enjoyable day. And yeah, you can see me trying as well. And I, I, I end up going far by four. But then there's this turning point where I tried this blue climb. It's like a V1. And I actually complete it. I, I'm, I'm like, I'm climbing it. And I, none of my friends have actually completed that climb. And I was really shocked. I'm like, whoa, this, this was a real turning point for me. So then I go for a second session. This second session was at August 10th, 2022, where me and my friend Dennis, we just went for a climb and yeah, it was pretty fun. It was very fun, but I actually completed my first V2 and I was pretty happy. I was, I was very happy actually. This was a massive accomplishment, like for me personally, and but you can see um, I don't have much technique at all, which is pretty funny. And, yeah. I need to jump this oh, I guess it's I'm climbing this next purple climb, and I'm chicken winging it. I have no form or technique whatsoever, but I had support. I had support from my friend Dennis here and that was enough to get me over this climb and that was that's that was all I needed. In the same session I tried my first dyno which is a V3 and as you can see it didn't really go well. But as you can see here, I'm, I'm completing another purple, which is around a V2, and I'm starting to get confident, more confident with heights. Originally, I was not confident at all with heights. I was really, really scared. I was able to finish this climb, and that was also because I had the support of Dennis as well. And then remember that green dino that I couldn't finish? Well. I went for my third session on August 13th, 2022, and I was able oh to complete man, the dyno. Great. This was my first dyno climb, and this just Always motivated me so much more. And as you can see, following that, I did another V3 climb, a green one. And obviously, as I mentioned before, I couldn't have gone through this. I wouldn't have been able to finish this without my friends. I had uh, Rayhan and Dennis there. They were pretty cool, and they supported me. Oh, it is recording. We want the. It's recording. Yeah. Nice. Yes. And if, yeah, then you have to jump for this one again. No, Zayda, don't worry. Yes, go on. Push. Nice. Let's go. And then this is probably like my fifth or sixth session. I don't know, but this was my first major climb in the cave. Nice there. Oh, yes, we put there. Nice, go for the next one. Nice, nice. Yes, nice. One more. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Go on. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. And then I got myself a 10 day pass at this bouldering gym and I grinded on the green V3 climbs and then that was when I broke into the V4 category for the first time.
it was about a month after I first started climbing uh, around September 21st when I did this orange climb and I was very very happy and I followed that with the same within the same session another V for orange climb and I started to love the sport even more way more and then a later session probably two or three sessions later I completed this climb with my friend Mehdi supporting me from behind so the common theme where with the help of my friends being there for me I, would, I, I completed most of these climbs and that really helped me a lot come on Zidane maybe elevate your right foot to where the left is yeah you're going well yeah you got that good oh my progression in bouldering was great, but I also progressed so much in terms of just building up relationships with my friends because my schoolmates started getting interested in bouldering and started attending bouldering sessions with me as well. And the guy recording this is one of my schoolmates. This climb was my first ever major project. It was a V4 climb, very tough one. And um, I was really, really proud to make it because it took me around four or five sessions to get this climb and it was just really fun. It was a very fun climb overall, especially with handling these volumes. And now we're here in December, where I've just finished my first major crimp climb. And if you've seen my previous videos, I'm currently working on this red climb, which is on V5. And I'm really close to breaking down that V5 barrier. But I was only able to make it that far because of my friends around me. Remember that guy Dennis I talked about? He's now climbing V6 climbs. And with him and motivation and other friends motivating me, it's just been so much easier to climb. I hope you enjoyed this climbing progression video. Um, it's been a very fun five months of climbing and I hope there's more to that. And hopefully my goal is by the end of next year, to finish off v6 maybe v7 maybe that's a bit of a reach but who knows who knows we'll see thank you for watching